Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Fu, and excuse me for a second. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had to clear my throat a little. Probably should have done that before I started the recording, but I was already in this room and starting to talk, so I could always go back and restart the recording, I guess, and you all would never know. <laughs> no. Because now it's funny just to have that laugh in here. Okay, so we cannot get in there. Was that a red knight that I saw in there? It was. So these red knights are... Can't you? Yeah, okay, I thought so. The red knights are interesting because you can actually use the, magnet glo the magnetic gloves on them to a certain extent. Which I think is kind of just really funny. I can't remember how to get past there, so we'll come back to that. Besides, we've got another key block to go through. And, ooh, ooh, ow. Some of my favorite platforming in the game is the magnet platforming, because, again, it's just some of the most interesting platforming you'll ever see in a Zelda game. Because, I mean, where else are you going to get that kind of jumping around and let's get you let's get a fairy from you why not <laughs> oh come on at least they're just sparks too hiya i love the sparks in this game i think they do that in um link's awakening and what's the other game what's the other the snes game a link to the Past. They do that in those games, too, for the for the Sparks, which makes life a whole lot easier, because those are the only enemies that I can always think of that you can... Oh, there we go. That you can get fairies from all the time. Which, again, is just really nice of the, of the game. Yeah, see what I said? Like, you can be over the gap and then just reverse, and it won't hurt you at all, so... Alright, back this way. Ow. Ow. Oh well. Didn't even take away a whole heart. Alright, and go, and go, and go, and go. There we go. <laughs> uh, that's one of the other reasons why I both love and hate the... Well, I should actually tell you the reason. I can never remember where we actually have... Well, I already told you, I can never remember where we have to go. I can never remember what room is coming up in the Unicorn's Cave. That's one of the reasons why I like this dungeon as well, because it's always a surprise to me. Which is always kind of nice, but... Alright, um... Pegasus Seeds. We can get past this jackass. Ow. Alright, wasn't sure if there was anything up there first. Oh yeah, these guys! I love these guys. Alright, so... I think you can boomerang these guys, can't you? No, you can't. Alright, so what you want to do with these guys is these are one of the very few mentions of actually being able to fight with the magnetic gloves. You want to use the magnetic gloves to draw them as close as you can while pushing the other ones away, and then at the last second you want to hit them with the sword. Unfortunately, when they switch over, they shoot fireballs, so they're not really that easy to fight. Well, they're still pretty easy to fight, but they can get to be a, ha a little bit of a hassle. Come on. You're, like, right here. There we go. Okay. They are a bit of a hassle. I'm... I'm... <sighs> It's interesting, but it's annoying, because they never get quite close enough for you to hit them without waiting for like 5-10 seconds, and by that time you're being hit by the... You're being hit by the other guys. Alright, so another piece of the magnetic puzzle is we want to bring this ball over here, and I'll show you why that's important in a little bit. There's anything else we need to do here. What else? Alright, we've got one chest down there. And that looks to be it. Alright. 
Um, I can't remember if we have to kill these guys. I think we do. Ow. Alright, no, we didn't have to kill those guys. That was just a waste of time and life. Oh well. <laughs> it's not like we can't get the health right back. Right now. Haha! -ha. I stole your fairy guts. <laughs> Because when you think about it, I mean, they've always got a fairy inside of them, so those things must always be made with fairies inside of them. Like, actually powering them. So, in a way, we're both saving the fairies from such a horrible fate. Such a horrible night to have a curse. But we're saving them from a horrible fate of having to just constantly power this enemy along. And then we're also... Um... We're also doing something else. Alright, so we do not want to actually go back that way right yet. What we need to do is get rid of these guys, because they're annoying. We need to go back here, because there's actually a track that we didn't go up yet. I think. If not, I'll just switch that quick. Yeah, I think we have to go up this left side first. Because, yeah, we haven't gone in there yet, I don't think. Well, let's, let's see. Aha! Alright, I'm gonna take out you guys first. Because otherwise you're going to be a real pain. And here we have the third magnetic mechanism, which is these rotating little south blocks, which will basically redirect you while you're using the magnetic gloves. Which can be is gonna be really handy later on, so not fun handy, but it's gonna be really handy, so. We'll touch back on that later. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the way I said that, because... I don't know, I sound so sure of myself, and it's just really funny. The way my voice has changed over the past few months or so. I think it is, at least. Okay, how do we want to do this? I think we do need to push this block, right? Well, let's take care of you, because you're going to be getting in our way otherwise. And there we go. And you can go right over there. And then we can go, we can just go right back around and take care of business. Taking care of business. Not even going to sing the song, because... I don't know, it's just a really straightforward song. It's not anything that I have to stretch for, so. And of course you all know the song uh, anyway, so there's no reason for me to sing it. Every day, taking care of business, every way. But of course I just like that song, so I'm gonna sing it. Ah, Why'd you have to get in our way? How are we doing? Ah, oh, we got enough time to go up there and get a certain key or something or other. Maybe. And now the door is open! So let's go in. And now you can see the wisdom behind bringing the little north north magnetic ball with us, because now we can just be like, ha ha ha, you can't hit me. Ha 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 Oh, ee, oh, tailspin, oh, ee, eh, tailspin. I can't remember the rest of the lyrics, but here's tailspin, da da da. <laughs> oh, I loved watching that show as a kid. Because, I mean, it was one of those, it was one of those Disney cartoons that was based off a movie, but it was one of those Disney cartoons that also just had absolutely nothing to do with the movie, because... I mean, come on, there's not even Mowgli in that, and that was all that the Jungle Book was, was, was about. Oh yeah, and we found the boss cave. It's not important. But, um, I mean, Baloo never had an air freight shipping pseudo-smuggling business, where he fought against Shere Khan, the corrupt businessman, and fought, um, and fought... What was it? Um... Weren't, like, half the people they fought, they were fighting in those shows, like, blatant... 
a blatant homage to like what people thought the whole communist takeover was like was gonna be like <laughs> yeah the whole communist takeover was like does that actually happen um but they don't the, I, I remember a few episodes there where they'd go up into like the arctic wastes and fight bases full of soldiers that were planning to take over that area for no reason for really no reason except to make life worse for everybody else well, and they still wanted to steal the trade, but anyway. I don't know, I, I love that I love that show. That's all I'm saying. Oh, of course we gotta hit the switch. Hit the switch. The bitch's switch. Step on the switch. Step on the switch. Alright, and good. Hide and run, 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 run. Ow! And I would have been fine if it weren't for you meddling kids and your dumb dog. <sighs> of course we gotta take out these guys again. You know what? I'm gonna try using the bombs on these guys. That didn't work. Okay. Um... At all. Shoot. So we can only take them out with the sword? Well, and the magnetic gloves. Er, That would have made my life so much easier right now if I could have just thrown a bomb at you and you would have been like, oh my gosh, a bomb, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Of course, that was completely the wrong way to go anyway. Uh, no, 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 you didn't see me, you didn't see me. No, 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 I no eye beam thing. <laughs> eye locks, or I don't remember. Bemo, Bemos. No Bemos, you didn't see where I was going. You know, that'd be really cool if you had a Legend of Zelda game where you had to go around and figure out what the enemies were. Um, kind of like in Paper Mario. I mean, not like in Paper Mario where you're, like, using Goombario to actually, like, go through and check which, which one of each of them are, but if you had... Oh... I'm an idiot. You know what? I'm a huge idiot. That's exactly what Nobby did. Tch. Wow. I can't believe that. Wow. 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 Okay, everybody. You can just give me the Internet of the Year Award. Or the Internet Stupidity of the Year Award. Because that was really stupid of me. Alright, so I have everything equipped I need for the next part. Um, I'm actually going to equip these, because we won't be needing the sword in the next part. Well, we might to get rid of past this keys guy. But anyway, next time we will take on the boss of the Unicorn Cave and find out where we're going next. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play... Ow! Darn it! I didn't want to take out the sword again. I will see you guys... Next time. There's a heart. Come on, have a heart. Give me a heart. No. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with Mio X Fu. Take it easy. <laughs>